Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jay Static and you're tuned in to the Static Sessions. So today we're going to be going into how to use your 808s on your keyboard through Ableton. And what that means is you're going to have to take your 808s that you find, find out what key they're in, or hopefully you download 808s which are already keyed up and they tell you what it is because it makes life way easier. And then we're going to throw them into a program called Simpler and from there transpose them right back into key and boom, play. So let's get into it and uh, show you guys what it is. So here what I got is um, mustard 808s, which I already got tuned. That's just a pack that I found, which I liked. So I'm just going to show you two of them and what they sound like. I'm just looking for a nice waveform. There you go. So we got two that look pretty similar. As you can tell, this is a higher key because it has more of these going through it. It's a lower key. And we're going to open up a little instrument which is stock on Ableton called Sim Simpler. It's pretty much just like a simple sampler. Um, call it a day. So this being C, all I'm going to do is take this, drag it onto this, and literally it's pretty much good to go. So now instead of drawing out all these notes, if you, if you have a drum pattern, which... Um, I can load up for you guys real quick. So it's probably gonna be loud, but so it's like some early 80s sounding drum pattern, but whatever. So it sounds like this, so we can just kind of keep adding bass lines on top of it however we want. And it's pretty much that simple and you can record it via MIDI. If you're like, hey, I like how that sounds. Boom, press record, let's go. And let's go back and have that. Simple, easy enough, good to go. That's the easiest way of doing it. Say we don't like the way for whatever reason or we don't have a uh, 808 and C and it's an F. Now it's a little bit more of a tricky situation, but it's not even that tricky. Um, just going to delete these so that it doesn't play. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a look at this and we're going to go over to the control section and find where it says transpose. And I might be blind right now. Oh, there it is. It says transpose. So now if I press C, that's actually the 808 in F. So because we know F is one, two, three, four, five notes higher, what we want to do is bring it down by five notes so that it plays in the key of F on the key of F. And boom, that's it. Now, uh, I've already showed you guys how to do the uh, putting it into the uh, via MIDI, just playing around and putting it on the beat. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you a little bit of a glide thing that we can also do. And glide's really easy to do. It just keeps the, uh, it keeps a slide happening between the notes. So you can go. And if you want to do portamento. So that's a very hard glide right there, but. Only difference between glide and portamento is really simple. Portamento, it'll still do, still do the glide, but it's gonna do it with the entire sample. So it's going to play the kick or play the 808 from the beginning and slide up until the root note's supposed to be hit or that note that you hit is supposed to be playing. Whereas Glide will literally play the 808 from where you hit the next note and continue on and 
glide down into the next note. And that's it. That's how you do some glide bass. That's how you do some um, simple ways of putting in 808s into your songs without having to draw in each note, which I still do just because I'm used to it. But if I do, if I if I wanted to eat up less space and just have a have a sampler play everything, I would use simpler, play all my notes, have it recorded in, and you're good to go. And that is it for dropping in 808s into Simpler, into Ableton to play along with a song. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little bell for future videos. And until then, stay tuned. <laughs>